Ned has his memory back. Anna now knows that it's been Charlotte stalking her all this time. It looks like Spencer and Trina over with. I said, oh my freaking goodness. Quite an episode, quite an episode. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review. We're like for Chester, this for General Hospital, November 10, 2023. Okay, so I don't know where to begin. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, but we all saw it coming. We all saw it coming. Now, next episode or whatever episode they show Trina and Spencer again, they might be back on good terms, but I doubt it. I feel like they're setting it up for Esme and Spencer to get back together. So what was the reason? What was the reason? So, okay, so I guess we're going to start there. So, basically, Spencer told Trina, <laughs> Spencer messed around, told Trina that Esme found a house and she moving out. She said, finally. He said, what you just said? <laughs> I said, uh-oh. I said, abort mission. Look, she stood her ground, though. So, then they tried to, you know, be on Spencer's side. Not be on his side, but basically understand. He was understanding where he coming from. And they was trying to tell him, it ain't like she moving out the state or moving somewhere else. She's just moving into another house. And Trina told him, basically, the only way that that, that would work is if they was a couple. Do you want that? He was like, no. And she was like, basically, uh, he told her, do not make me choose between you and my brother because you won't like the answer. She said, she not. She going to make it easy. And she walked out. And I said, oh. I said, I guess that mean they over, y'all. I said, dog, nah, man. We knew, though. The way they, they dragged it out, first of all. How many years has it been? They played with them. Only for Esme to claim she lost her memory. Look, who's to say she ain't got her memory and she didn't have this plan from the get-go? Like, I know how to get him. I know how to finally get him. Move out. Move out or whatever. But uh, Trina had valid points. Everybody had valid points. I understand. He doesn't want to lose his little brother. He want to step up because his daddy trifling. Then the mug still ain't revealed himself. Why they reveal that he's still alive? If this man, how about this something else? If this man ain't going to make it be known. I mean, he made it be known. Lord know everybody around town know. But I'm talking about he ain't actually shown himself. They had a spoiler months ago that said that uh, he's supposed to meet up with Alexis or whatever, reveal, reveal himself to Alexis, but that didn't happen. That did not happen. So I was like, okay, is they trying to find another Nicholas or something? I, I would not be shocked if they put Esme and Spencer back together. At this point, might as well. Might as well know what they're doing in the first place. What was the reason? Had this girl, had this big old look getaway for nothing. I told y'all things was going to explode. But I ain't see the preview for next week's episode yet. I got to go uh, check it out and see if they uploaded it yet. But okay, Ned got his memory back. But he also remembers everything that happened with Eddie. I was I was waiting on him to say, oh, I remember. I was waiting on Olivia to say, what happened? And him, for him to say, I was running. I had just overheard Nina's con conversation with, uh, what's his name, Martin and everything. But I guess they're going to wait and drag it out. They're going to wait or whatever. But basically, they reunited and everything. And not much went on there. Just he revealed that he was there the whole time. He just needed some space. I said, y'all kidding me. Y'all kidding me. Had him lose his memory. Had him find out the secret. For him to jump in some dog of water because he heard a voice. <laughs> to jump in some water because he heard a voice. And then come out to my son. He remember he didn't even hit his head or nothing. He just almost drowned. That's it. <laughs> That's it. How he get his memory back like that? Y'all might as well hit him over here like Tracy said. But Blaze went and introduced herself to Alexis. They had a whole conversation. Christina ended up coming. Uh, Alexis told Christina she thinks that Blaze like her like her. And I said, that's what it looked like they setting it up for y'all. But basically, they agreed to do like this article about, you know, I don't think I can say it. Y'all know if you watch the episode about what Blaze went through with, uh, what was his name? Link, her producer or whatever, that dude, that sicko. Who's this city? That sicko. We gonna say it or whatever. Um, Curtis and Drew was just catching up and talking about like everything they went through that is good that it, that they need to hang out and all that nothing too much I, I'm disappointed about the Spencer and Trina thing Charlotte Charlotte over here she's so far gone this man got her mind so far gone and I said oh my goodness I was waiting on them to say something about the tarot cards but they ain't said nothing but um when Trina and Spencer was arguing Josh and Dix tried to, to you know step in and help or whatever but it didn't do no good because Trina still ended up leaving and everything Valentine Anna told Valentine basically what she suspected he was like no you got it all wrong Charlotte's been been stalking you for months and I've been covering it and she was like what and all that and she tried by the end of the episode she tried to get in to talk to Charlotte but Laura's like no she's resting she's afraid of you and all this stuff you still act like she did something I understand though because she over here telling stories like the lady tried to do it because of what Victor said but Charlotte did reveal everything to Laura and told that told that um Victor came there. He was visiting. And he told her, told her that Anna dangerous. I'm glad that she said that. But they still be treating Anna like she did that on purpose or whatever. I don't know if I said this part already, but 
Anna told Valentina that she'll never forgive him. And she asked her, what about her? Why didn't you say? I mean, it looked like she ain't blaming Charlotte. Of course, now I only think she knows that it was Victor controlling her or whatever. I know she knows somebody, though. But now Anna even more upset. <laughs> she was already upset because of, she got to live with what she did. Now she even more upset because she knows Charlotte been the one stalking her. I guess she want to ask her a question. She was like, I can't wait. I need to talk to her. I guess she was about to ask her, you know, have you talked to this man? Have you seen this man? They need to go and reveal. I know it's more to this story than just, you know, Victor. It got to be. Um, when he was telling, when Valentine was telling Anna about, you know, Charlotte burning her house down and all that, she was like, no, no, it was this. And they, I said, maybe it might not have been Charlotte who did that part. They won't know until they actually tell her. Bring up what she did. Like, stop over here coddling her. And I know she under whatever they call it, the mind control thing, whatever Victor did to her. But you got to tell her. Tell her so she can tell you more. She already done told Laura a lot. But I'm sure it's more to the story than just that. But we'll see, y'all. Uh, I think that was everything, y'all. Yeah, I think that was everything, basically. <laughs> basically, uh, that's it. Let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, do this. Have a great weekend and be safe. Hey y'all, check out the DLC Crew Text Club. It's a motivational group. You'll receive four encouraging messages per month. It's a one-time fee of $10. Again, the link will be in the description. Shop now.